Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our second video of the day. We do have two booster boxes of the brand new Cardfight Vanguard Overdress, Genesis of the Five Greats. These are for Michael B. from Massachusetts. So thank you so much, Michael, for letting me open these on up for you. And I hope we find you some awesome Vanguard cards to add to your collection. Now this set seems to be very hot. And from what Bossman was telling me earlier today, seems to be a bit underprinted because the prices on these boxes just keep going on up. We are actually almost sold out as well. These things have been selling like hotcakes online especially during our live stream the other day this past saturday night and in store as well so i'm excited to go ahead and open these on up like i said we are almost sold out just a few boxes left but to my knowledge there is a special edition booster coming before the next main set release of overdress which does have some new cards however different versions of some of the rares and stuff from the set so hopefully we'll see some nice reprints there and these prices won't get too crazy but i'm excited to check these on out there are 16 packs per box and we have yet to see any of those dress secret rares so that would be a great pull here for michael to my knowledge both of the two different dress secret rares in the set are over 200 dollars a piece but it seems like there are some very expensive sps also some nice orrs too so let's just go ahead and get on into these two boxes by snapping us into the corner and let's get started now it does seem like there are a handful of different colors of that four pack of sleeves that you do get per box i'll go ahead and see what we have here so we do have a purple one again and of course the promo for the box now there's only the one type of promo so every box does have this card with the art of course by clamp and we have our four pack of sleeves for your ride deck so this here is the purple color we have seen beige pink and teal as well i think there are a total of five colors if i'm mistaken go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below but being a bushy road product i do have my handy dandy scissors ready for these pull tabs and let's get started here with pack number one i'll of course do a recap at the end of both boxes here for michael showing off and counting up our triple r's our hollows and if we have any ORRs, and if, of course our double R's, and SP's, it does seem like if we don't find an overdressed double rare, that we do get five triple R's, but if we do find one, it seems like you only get four triple R's, so like that fifth triple R slot can be exchanged for an ORR, at least that's what we've seen in the other boxes we've opened up so far here. Like I said, we opened up several this past weekend during our live stream, I also had that preview box the other day. But we have an ORR here, and it looks like a D, but it is just the font. Dragon Deity, King of Resurgence, Drag Veda. And since these have been max one per box from what we've seen, I'll go ahead and get that sleeved on up. All right. So, I have our pile for double R's, triple R's, anything else. Our hollows I tend to put there. All right, let's continue. But I am very excited to see that Overdress has been doing really well for us here at Titan. I was excited when it was first announced. I saw that Clamp did the art for the character design. I was like, oh, I really want this to do well. I was very excited. I convinced Bossman purely based on me finding information that showed people were excited for Overdress to go ahead and carry it. Uh, just because I was really, I was completely convinced. I was won over 100% just by the fact that Clamp, you know, clamp exists in this product and in the anime as well the character design i have to check that out i have i have a really long watch list of things ranging from marvel's wandavision to still star wars the mandalorian haven't had a chance to check any of that out just quite yet uh, i am unfortunately always always busy it seems but once i finish naruto i have to go back i have to finish jojo before stone ocean comes out i got through about halfway through uh, golden wind and then for some reason just stopped watching i do want to go back and finish that but i'm just i'm just i have so much to watch but i'd love to go ahead and check this out see what's up with the anime curious hopefully overdress is here to stay i know bushi road has rebooted vanguard a couple times made different uh series you know, you had the V, but it seemed like that would, we, the only product we've had from Cardfight Vanguard V was the Bang Dream. So that seemed more of kind of a Weiss style, like other property form of Vanguard. And then I know there was Card Fight or Buddy Fight. I think that was a bit different, but still. So I know there's been several iterations of 
Cardified Vanguard. So hopefully Overdress really takes off because it seemed like, especially I watched that almost two hour announcement video. A lot of positive comments. People in the YouTube chat seem very excited, very pleased. So hopefully Overdress sticks. We have a rare Cursed Soul Squirming in Agony and Hollow Cardinal Dance Barbizondi. All right, on to the left half of box number one. I'm also curious to learn how this game plays. Even if I don't pick it up myself, I do actually feel inclined to watch some gameplay videos just because I've never I've never seen any type of Vanguard play. We have a double R Spring Maiden, Alenia. I'm just seeing not too much text on these cards. Now the other Bushiro game that I have seen, never seen played, but Weiss Schwartz has so much text on the cards. And I own a lot of Weiss cards myself, just for collectible purposes, uh, for different animes that I'm a big fan of. And there's our token. There's one token in the set. Seem to get one of those per box. But there's a ton of text on those cards. So to go to Vanguard, not only are the cards physically smaller, but I'm seeing less text and a lot of, lot of action and a lot of the artwork. I'm seeing these different things, some on the side. There's on the top left. I really want to know what's, I want to learn more. Like this one here, the Drag Veda has that over symbol on the top right. I'm very curious to see how this game plays. But I'm really loving the art design. These cards are super cool looking. Sylvan Horn Beast Agleo. And I really like this one here. We actually found the SP version of this this past weekend. She is gorgeous. Upward Acrobat Marjorie. That is just a double R. But speaking of SPs, we haven't found our SP of the box just yet. And like I said, we haven't seen any DSRs either. So that would be a great pull here for Michael. We have Hollow Triconnect Sorceress. Stealth Rogue of Strife, Futomaru. And Gunning of Dust Storm, Nigel, Hollow. Pentagleam Sorceress and Double R Painkiller Angel. Grief, Despair, and Rejection. And then Double R Stealth Dragon, Tensha Steed. All right, our last pack here in box number one should be having our SP here. If not, this will be our first ever box without an SP. Oh, look at that. We actually have another token. Interesting. It's our first double token box. Protobulb Dragon, Drag Ritter, Dabax. And we do have SP here. Source Dragon, Deity of Blessings, Bless Favor. That's cool. I believe actually this is a ORR regular in the set. So I'm very curious. I think I actually, I did. I left the tab open to check here. Source Dragon Deity of Blessings Bless Favor SP version seems to be about $31, so very cool. I was like, we've seen this in ORR form. So that is pretty cool here. Love the texture. Love the art on these cards. Got some crazy dragons. Got some cute waifus, which I know I always point out, especially with white shorts. But hey, I call it as I see it. If they're cute, they're cute. So it has what I think are some good foundation blocks for a TCG. You got cuties, you got really cool looking dragons. Reminds me kind of of Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest, with some of the images, although they are full art cards. But I'm very curious to see how this game does, see more of it, learn more about Clamp's interaction with, I guess, Bushi Road with Overdress. Is it just the art? Do they have anything else going on? Is there like a Clamp, Clamp Vanguard manga or something? That'd be cool. I'd be into that. But anyways, that does it here for box number one. Like I said, I do a recap at the end of box number two. So let's move on into that and see if we can find our first DSR here for Michael. All right. So once again, we have our promo and actually we have a different color sleeve. So this time we do have pink, pink and purple. And... As I mentioned, the only one type of promo here, so every box has that same Cardfight Vanguard Overdress card. All right, here we go. 
pack number one, box number two. Let's get started. Planner Prevent Dragon. And hey, it's that same ORR again. Dragon Deity King of Resurgence, Drag Veda. So let's get you sleeved up. The other night we kept seeing the same one we saw in our preview box until right at the end we did see this, the ORR version of our SP, the Bless Favor. I know there is a small set of ORRs. There are only five different types. So it makes sense that even though they're one per box, you will see similar ones often because there's not too many to, of course, randomly choose from. Stealth Rogue of Strife, Futamaru, and Uncanny Burning. I like the outfit and the green hair. Speaking of hair, I have a hair appointment tomorrow. Can't necessarily get done what I was initially planning. However, might want to tune in in tomorrow's video to see what's up with my new do. Dark Strain Dragon. Triple R, Master of Gravity, Barrow Magnus. Pentagleam Sorceress and Steam Battler, Gungan Ram, double R. Crawl, you insects. An Inheritance Maiden, Hendrina, double R. Fighting Dragon, Gold Dog Dragon, Dragonator Alwaith, and Hollow Conduct Spark Dragon. Interesting, looks like an eel. Because it seems to be in the ocean, this looks like a fish. Or maybe the fish is out of water, I don't know. Not sure what's going on there, but again, lots of really cool looking dragons in this product. Big fan. Now I'm not even someone that's like super obsessed with dragons. Ages Mare Dragon and Virena Valiente, Triple R. Sylvan Horn Beast, Eglio, and Knight of War Damage, Fosado, Double R. Phantasma Magician Curtis and Aurora Battle Princess Agra Rouge. Big Snake Witch Solaria and Grand Heavenly Sword Alden Triple R. Seeing a lot of triple R's that I haven't seen before tonight, so that's very cool. Love seeing these new arts, especially in this box, seeing a lot of cards that are unfamiliar to me. Looks like we have a hollow in the back based on the foiling. Recusal Hate Dragon and Violate Dragon. Twin Buckler Dragon, hollow, as I predicted. We're getting close to the end of box number two. Have not found our SP just quite yet, but in box number one, the SP was in the final pack, so no need to worry just quite yet. Black Tears Husk Dragon, Electro Spartan, and Cardinal Fang Fulgris. Halloween Moonlit Nights. And Detonation Mutants, Bobble Mine, double R. Curse Soul, Squirming in Agony. And White Crow Sorcerer, Texas. Again, love the outfit. And all right, last pack here of box number two. 
Let's go ahead and see. We are waiting on our SP. Maybe we'll get a DSR. We have Protobulb Dragon, Drag Ritter Dabax, and SP Aegis Mare Dragon. Ooh. On the little energy cluster here. That looks super cool. Not sure what kind of move that is, but the texture on that does look really awesome. Aegis Mare Dragon is our second SP here tonight for Michael. Let me go ahead and check this one as well. Like I said, I have that tab open. May as well see. Do, do, do. Looks like this one here is about $28. Very cool. So some nice valued SPs here in both boxes. It does seem like cards are on the move upwards as well. A couple cards actually we opened up this past weekend, LG Pixie. Uh, market price is showing is $30. However, the lowest listed is $39. So not going to be able to find one for $30, even though that's what they've been selling for in the past. So that one is moving up. And Virena Valiente. I just love that card name. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced because it looks like Caliente, but with a V. Uh, market price on that one is $30 as well. But that one is low at $34.16. So cards I'm seeing on the up and up. Seems like boxes also have moved up about $5 over the weekend from $69 to $74. So... Very cool to see. I love when cards tend to stay the same and or appreciate in value. Of course, because you buy something on release weekend, you don't want to wake up Monday morning and see that people got scared. Or perhaps people did not like their cards as much and started selling them on the cheap end. So nice to see when it goes the other way around. Especially since, as I said, I believe there are reprints of some of these cards coming as well. So hopefully they won't get too out of hand, but still see that they hold their value is nice in my opinion. But anyways, let's go ahead and do our recap here for Michael. We did get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as expected, four per box on the triple R's, as we did find an overdress double rare in each box, which happened to be the same card. In each box, we did find a Dragon Deity King of Resurgence, Drag Veda. And for our hollows, should be a total of 10 here. Yep, we did find 10 total, so five in each box. and should be the same on the double R's, but I'll count them as I show them off. I still love this one. And yep, 10 here on the double R's as well. So that does seem to be the standard box um, ratios, four triple R's and an ORR, or five triple R's, one SP, five double R's and five hollows per box. And oddly enough, our first box did have two of these tokens, but for the most part, we're just seeing one little token card per box. And as I mentioned, check the box again though, just to be sure, don't want to give you guys any wrong information. I do thought it said there was only one type of token, but it looks like I saw that somewhere else as the box does not mention that. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at our SPs as well. We did have Ages Mare Dragon in box number two. And from box number one, we had SP, Source Dragon Deity of Blessings, Bless Favor. And of course, we had our two promos, two box topping promos, and one pink, one purple pack of four sleeves each. And that'll do it here for these two Genesis of the Five Greats booster box openings for Michael. Thank you so much, Michael, for letting me open up some Vanguard for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love all of these new additions to your collection. Not sure if I was able to get the cards you were looking for, but happy to see that he did pull you some nicely valued cards, especially in the SPs. Haven't familiarized myself with the different hollows, triple R's, and double R's just quite yet, but I hope that you are thoroughly pleased with both boxes' contents and, of course, that you enjoyed the video. But all that you guys out there watching, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me if you have any recommendations for where to check out to play Vanguard. Is the card website, is Bushy Road's website the best place to go? Or do you know somewhere else that has some cool tips and tricks? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Or of course, if I passed over anything or said anything that you're like, hey, Allie, you really need to fix this or you need to learn more about this, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below as well. It's only my second ever Vanguard product opening here. Did have that Bang Dream set, which I was just more familiar with because I've opened up a lot of different Bang Dream stuff before. But this is the first true Vanguard product, I feel, that I've ever opened. So I'm definitely down to learn more. If you guys have advice, make sure to leave that down below. Of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, before I wrap off this video for 
sure do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. But thank you so much to all of our channel members for going above and beyond with their support. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Do have seven Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Kira Soltari, Sean F., Stephen Oliveau, and Stephen Bly. We also do have 12 Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers D., Vaughn Dusty Archuleta, Jerry at Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But again, thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. This actually does it for TCG openings here on the channel today. We'll have at least one TCG opening tomorrow with another box of Y Shorts. Both of don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. So that will be tomorrow. Like I said, tune in if you want to see what's going on different with Allie's hair. Shouldn't be anything too drastic, but you guys might want to check that out tomorrow. Especially since there's no notifications. May as well go ahead and let you guys know ahead of time that that's what's going to be up tomorrow. But yeah, last video of the night will be some hockey. So if you like hockey, I do, as I'm sure you all can tell. Make sure to stay tuned for that. If not, I will hope to catch you guys tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching this video here. It's all set and done, but I'll be back later. So take care, everybody. Stay safe. Hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.